Hey guys, welcome to the Newbie Real Estate Investors in New Jersey podcast. I'm Joey Chan, and today we have a special guest here, David Leong, and also his associate, John Kim. David, why don't you go first? Um, can you tell the audience a little bit about your background, uh, what you do, and uh, what you do in real estate? I'm a corporate America guy. <laughs> Graduated college, four years degree, and very underpaid for a decade. And every time you do better and better for the company, they give you lesser and lesser in a raise. So I was like, there's no way I can build a better future this way. At least it's not for me. My wife and I, we, we kind of looked around at many different kinds of businesses we could get into, um, even franchising. But franchising, I mean, the, the cost is astronomical. And in small business, failure rate is high. So one day, one of our, someone we know, a friend, he saw at, you know, in, in, in our house, my wife, she actually bought one of those programs on TV on how to do real estate investing. So our friend, when they saw it, they said, Take, send that back. And why don't you go get your real estate license and I'll show you how to make it work. Mm. So we heard about company and, but we really wanted to be investors, but we actually got geared towards the agent route. And that's where we started back in 2002. We got our real estate license. We did it part time for about two and a half years. And then we finally quit both of us. We quit our jobs and we went into it full time. We were very successful building at that time. We had a team going that was doing pretty close to 40, 45 million in volume. Wow. And then 2008, uh, where our brokerage is now, we had the opportunity to buy the brokerage because, you know, 2008, everyone was jumping ship, you know, in real estate. So we didn't even think about, you know, that it was a down market. It wasn't probably the best time to buy a brokerage, but we were like, why not? I mean, mm -hmm. you know, just like real estate as a property, they're selling at discounts in, in bad markets. We were able to um, obtain the brokerage at a discount price, you know, on the business itself. So, but even then um, for the next like couple of years, you know, I didn't do anything with investing, but until I went into, we were at some big seminar for real estate agents. But I saw on like one of those easels outside the room that said, real estate investing. It's like, oh man, let me walk inside of this thing because you know what? We're high producing agents. We have a fabulous team brokerage. Maybe we could bring the information back to our people to uh, do more deals as agents working with real estate investors. Right. So went in there, the guy, the first thing he said was something like this, 90 to 95% of all real estate agents in the past, present, and future will never own an investment property other than their primary residence. Oh my God. And I looked around the room like this, Joey, huh. like this. He was talking to me, man, we're making great income, but yeah. we're not building wealth. And he said, why are we all as agents giving away the wealth and we're walking away with a certain portion, which listen, commissions is great money. But if I calculate, if I do a calculation on what one property held long-term, paid down by tenant. We gave away the farm. So the second statistic was that about 85 to 90% of the general American public legal status never owned an investment property other than primary residence or they're still renting. Wow. That means that majority of the real estate in America are owned by like government, uh, foreign investments, hedge funds, Wall Street, investors like you know, like us, mm. but about 85, 90% of the public will never own an investment property. So I said to myself, you know, when someone owns their primary residence and they take it long term and they retire or after it's paid off, that's the greatest asset they have above everything else they have. Can you imagine if they own three, four more? That's it. That's all it took. Three, four more, Joe. Guess what I did? All I did was when I got back, I told my wife, listen, no more. We're going to be real estate investors from now on. So we started buying what we knew mm -hmm. as real estate agents. We only know traditional real estate. So we started buying everything 25% down, oh conventional God. loan, got up to property number eight. I don't know why in my head I didn't think about we'd run out of cash but when we looked down at the bank account we were like how were we going to get to number 45 that was our goal and we got stuck there for a while so long story short i ended up meeting one of my old friends he was an engineer but five years prior he accumulated 65 properties and i'm like how the heck does this guy do it so i got together with him i did 
an internship. I had to find 15, 20 properties for him based on his strategies. I made no money. He told me, give all the commission to his real estate agent. But it was the best thing that happened to us because after that, I coined what he does because as agents, we call it traditional real estate, right? FHA and conventional. Yeah. I coined what he did, non-traditional real estate. You know, we started investing through those strategies. And, you know, today we're closing in on probably before the year end, I'll close with a hundred property portfolio somewhere wow. around there. Wow. Amazing. That was eight years ago. But the cool thing is on our platform results only. I mean, we were only looking to invest for ourselves. About three, three and a half years ago, I started to get people, David, how, how do you do what you do? Agents were asking me, friends were asking me, the public was asking me, past clients were asking me. I was asking uh, you. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, yeah, but I'm just, in, it's not something I have together that I could kind of teach you. But because so many people started to ask and, you know, we did help a handful of people along the way that were very close to us. But that's when we started to formulate education systems about what we do. Uh, and that's how results only platform came about. So today we're, we're still very active real estate investors. I have a goal to get to 125 in the portfolio nice. and uh, we're still, we still own the same brokerage and we still operate three teams as real estate agents. So that's where we are today. So John, uh, can you tell me a little bit, well, actually the audience, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, your background, and sure. also how you got into real estate and how you're helping uh, David? Sure, no problem. So my background is really simple. Like I've had a sales and service background since college. I worked in the restaurant industry for a really long time. I wanted to own my own restaurants. I did front of house, back of house. I cooked, I washed dishes, mm. I managed, I did everything. And then Me too, believe it or not. I realized it was like one of the worst industries of like I could have ever imagined. Like you had to be a crazy person to want to do that for the rest of your life. So then I just jumped from job to job to job. And it was always something I sold hats and scarves wholesale. I did a retail store in the Garden State Mall. I, I pretty much did like all these different jobs and I ended up in car sales selling Hondas at DCH Paramus and it was fine, you know, and I actually started because I wanted to get into real estate investing, but I felt like I needed more sales knowledge. Mm. So I started at Honda and it was easy. Nobody comes to Honda because, you know, they just want to look at a car. So I just needed to get you to sign the paper. And I was really good at that. And one of the clients that I ended up meeting was a real estate agent. And she said, Hey, like you should be in real estate instead. I think you do a very good job. Long story short, I ended up quitting my job like two weeks later and I got my license and I joined the office and that office happened to be David's office. <laughs> and for three years, I did three transactions. I was a terrible real estate agent. Like I never did anything. Like I would do an open house here and there and I got lucky. Like people liked me and they would hire me and I would help them. But I just, my follow up was weak. If you weren't ready to buy right now, like I lost interest. Mm -hmm. And then I realized this game wasn't for me. It wasn't going to work because I was good at selling, but real estate as a, as a business was, it was a very different beast, you know, hanging around the office every day. Like all of a sudden I, I got this opportunity where I was seeing David and he's just working day in and day out and day in and day out. And I was like, how does this guy have so many leads? Like, how is he making so much money? And the funny thing was like, if you kind of just stay at the office, as long as David's there, like he can't not talk about real estate. You know what I mean? Yeah. And little by little, he would tell me things. He would tell me things. He'd say, come to my class. And I would go to his class. And then I realized over that year, I had spent about a full year just like listening to every podcast, bigger pockets, going to Nick Tang events, like all of this education, thinking I needed to learn how to invest. I couldn't get it. I, I had no idea how to do it. Like I, I did it for a full year. I thought I was really smart. And then David ended up becoming my coach. And since I guess March, I think I'm on like property number nine. Wow. I have like 20, no, like less than uh, just under 20 or so under contract, hoping to close soon. And like they're, they're mixed. Like some of them I own by myself. Some of them are JV'd, but that was the one thing I was missing. I, I was missing somebody who, who had done it before. And now all I do is try to take more of what he does and, and replace myself so that he can do more of what only he can do. Mm hmm and so, yeah, we've been crushing it since COVID. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Beautiful. Does being a real estate agent help you in terms of doing the investments? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. De definitely. I would say yes to David as well, right? <laughs> he's, he's not even Absolutely. <laughs> because 
number one is just the, the availability of resources is very key for us. I mean, you know, it's not necessary to be successful in investing, to have a license, but ease of information and, and resources definitely gives us a boost in, in uh, getting deals done quicker. I just think, in my opinion, that, you know, like if we were to talk about sales training or uh, real estate processes, um, on the agent side, it's far more readily available, high level training than it is on the investor side. And then, you know, you, you, you get to learn all the transactional part of it. The training is just so much more well put together as an industry on the agent side. And it is for me, that's what I found than on the investor side. The really cool thing is that because we had that background, for me, it was easier to scale on the investing side of it. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense because there, there are plenty of training for investors. Like if you're just coming in solely as a someone who never did like a real estate transaction, you're basically like have no idea what you're doing. You know, at least yeah. for example, like with me, when I first started, I, I already, I had already purchased a personal home. I, I saw my parents buy a personal home and because their English w wasn't really that good, you know, I had to do a lot of the paperwork and things like that to help them. So I saw the, how, how the whole thing happened, you know, so at least I had like two, three transactions already done before I went into the investing side. Right. And I knew like, you know, buying a house, whether you're buying an investment versus your personal home, there's no real difference. Yeah. 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 A con you know. It's just the, the way you finance it would be different. Right. You know, but e even if, so my background is kind of like similar, right? So when I bought my first property, I did it conventional as well. You know, like I, I didn't know that, you know, there was hard money or, or, or that, you know, I could buy it all cash. I mean, I knew you could, but I didn't have it. So right. like, well, the only way is to get that 80, 80, you know, 75% from the bank. Could you tell me a little bit about the, uh, the results only program? Yeah, John, go yeah. ahead. Go sure. So the results only platform is basically David's platform where he teaches, he coaches, he partners, he basically covers anything you're going to need to understand in real estate investing within this platform. And you can engage with us in lots of different ways. You could come to our free classes, you know, you can be a part of our paid coaching program. We do like biannual events. We do big events. We used to do a, like a getaway experience where we would go to like places like Cabo, Costa Rica, and we would spend a week and we would train and then we would enjoy like, you know, the different kinds of experiences that were there. Obviously that's kind of on the back burners for right now, but that's all within the platform and you can partner with us to invest. You can bring us deals and we'll be your buyer. If you're an agent, you could actually be the, our agent too and take both sides of the commission. You know, like the best part about being an agent is that it really doesn't cost that much to carry. Meaning I, I can give it up no problem like the commission if you're going to bring me a deal. Right. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Also want to thank you guys for having me at, uh, you know, be a speaker at one of your events as well. Yeah, we, so, we appreciate you coming out to help us. <laughs> So that was awesome. Yeah, that no, that's really cool. A lot of different ways to either invest with you guys or just learn from you guys. Uh, so who would be the ideal, let's say, student or uh, person that, that wants to invest with you guys? I mean, if you want to say core customers or clients, number one is what we call customer type number one. Okay. We actually categorize them that way, where you literally have not done anything in real estate investing. That is our best clients for the platform because if you come with an open mind without you know so any like baggage let's say or or your way of doing whatever you want and mm -hmm. then trying to fit your strategy kind of in making it into what we do it just doesn't work customer type number one that we we love is when you come with an open mind and that you literally have done nothing or maybe one or two deals lifetime. Then we're looking for what we call customer type number two. Customer type number two or client type number two in the platform are ones that, you know what, they have a certain background in business and or in the real estate industry. Like if you come with age and experience, but again, you have to come with an open mind that these guys, if they've done real estate investing, maybe five, six deals a year, somewhere around that number, but they have not been able to scale it to where, you know, to a higher level, 
and they're looking for strategies, methodologies, tools, uh, concepts, um, h- how to build, let's say, like a portfolio. Right. Um, how to make it bigger in, in the space we play. You know, but we're, honestly, we're not looking for the ones that already have a certain level of experience. Um, it's not that we don't. It's just that they come with not as an open mind because they just have a certain way of doing business and their own strategies. And we're just very specific. It just, I mean, if they're just not going to fit into what we do, it's very hard to show them how we make money the way we make money. Just very niche market, Joey. Yeah, yeah. No, I get that. Yeah. In the education you kind of do, are there any, let's say, podcasts or audio books that you kind of suggest to the people? Sure. I think one of David's things that he always tells me is there's no end to how many things you could read and how many times you could read those things. Yeah. So really, like he recommends like a different book to me like all the time. Like, I have one here. This is like the most recent one that we talked about. Well, can't wait. You know, That's and, a and, and, and outside of outside of the really obvious ones like the rich dad and poor dad, the retire young, retire rich. Like outside of all of those obvious ones, like yeah. there's there's so many books. Uh, <laughs> you know, yeah, there is. I, I think at the end of the day, like just read any of them. Just start reading. Get that habit of reading because that, that's where you get a lot of advantage. Nice. Well, one of the key books, if, they, if someone wants to be a buy and hold investor, mm-hmm. is read exactly that. The book is called Hold. Hold. H O L D. That's it. Yeah. H O L D. Uh, how do you spell McKissick, John? Uh, M C K I S S A C K, I think. Yes. Okay. That's one of the finest buy and hold books I ever read. And nice. of course, I, one of my favorites from Robert Kiyosaki is Retire Young, Retire Rich. It's it's a phenomenal finance book uh, through real estate investing. Nice. Okay. I, I got to get that one. I haven't, haven't, well, the one John just showed and, and this and the retire. I got to read these two. Yeah. I still, I still have uh, 10 Amazon credits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so I got to download them, <laughs> but uh, I'm doing a really long book right now. I know it's a little different, but I'm doing Joe Fairless syndication book. Okay. Yeah. So that one's really, really long. That, that one's like 20 hours or 30 hours. <laughs> and so I got a lot of driving around to do before I yeah. get to the next one. <laughs> yeah. And then I, I don't always like listen to the book when I'm driving, you know, cause sometimes you're talking on the phone, you're doing different things. So it, it takes a while to get through it. Yep. Got it. Yeah. So how would, how can people find you guys on social media or just, you know, how, how can they reach out to you if, if they want to get in touch with you? Sure. No problem. We have a Facebook page, facebook.com slash results only group, or you can email us at any of our names, David or John at results only.net. We're pretty accessible. If you guys have deals for us, we buy two to four families in North Jersey, send it to us, <laughs> uh, deals at results only.net. That's so yeah. You guys can find us anywhere on, at facebook.com slash results only group, David at results only.net. If you guys ever need to contact us. That's awesome. Guys, I want to thank you so much for hopping on for our audience. Don't forget to like and subscribe on the channel and if you have any questions or comment please don't forget to leave that on the facebook page and also our youtube page as well Joey, thank, thank you for having so us much. take you care too. take care